What's up YouTube today? You can take a look at lead code problem number 184, department highest salary marked as medium. Let's get straight into it. So we have a table employee that holds all employees. Every employee has an ID, a salary, and there's a column for the department ID. So we have ID name, salary, department ID. We also have department, another table that has ID and name for that department. We're probably going to have to use that for joining later on just to look up that name of that department. So that's a fair game. Our task is to write a SQL query to find employees who have the highest salary in each of the departments. For the above tables, the output should be the one below. We don't have to sort that by any column, so the ordering doesn't matter. So that would be department IT twice, and then sales, Max, Jim, and Henry, because we have a high salary that matches for two employees, Max and Jim in IT. They both make 90,000 and that's why we should output both of them. That is something to keep in mind. So I think that's a pretty good problem. It also has a lot of thumbs up because it really allows you to go through the problem step by step and to also make sure you have some small details in place. So what I mean by going through the problem step by step is best visualized by just starting out telling you my approach. So I would look at what is the highest salary per department first because our task is to find all people that have the highest salary in their department. It might be more than one. So we're gonna look at each department. So using department ID find the highest salary. So we're gonna use max on our table employee because that's where we have all that information stored and we're going to have to group by department ID. So if you run that query we get an output of 1, 90,000 to 80,000. That's our department high salary. Already we're just going to have to list the employees, the department name, not just the ID, and then also keep the salary. And yeah, that's already quite far for this task. So we're going to pack that into a subquery and use it later on. So for output we want to actually have a field department that corresponds to the name in department in that table. So we're going to select department.name call it department We want to output employee.name, call it employee, and then also salary, which is only contained in the employee table. So we're going to select from employee, join department, because we need that for name of the department, and we're going to join on the department ID, so employee.department ID corresponds to department.id. So in order to tie that all together and use our subquery as a filtering condition for our outside query that we just wrote, we're going to use a WHERE filter and we pretty much want to look up whether our department ID and salary we have in our output matches our subquery because in our subquery we have the highest salary per department. That's what we want to check. Does that really match? So we're gonna use department ID and salary and see if that is in that subquery. So that is the syntax we use in MySQL. Might be slightly different for other SQL dialects, but if you run that code we get the exact output that we should produce. IT Jim, Sales Henry, IT Max. As you can see, it's not ordered, but that is also not required. So if you submit that query, we actually get an accepted output already. It might be a bit difficult to understand how where in works. Pretty much we're gonna look at these two columns and see if they match 
that subquery, that table from the subquery we just created. So we use it as kind of a lookup that just confirms whether the information we have is one of the highest salaries in that department. And we need, we need to use both fields because high salary depends on the department. We don't just have one high salary for the entire company. Anyways, that's been it for this video. I hope it was helpful and you were able to understand how to use where in and subqueries. I hope you're going to follow along and study with me in the other videos and I'll see you all in the next video.